welcome back to my kitchen. Thanksgiving is coming up soon, so if you're looking for that special recipe to make your Thanksgiving menu super special, I have a recipe for you. Today we're going to make pumpkin pudding cake. It's one of the best cakes you'll ever taste, I promise. To make it extra special, we're going to use homemade pumpkin puree, yum! Here's a link to see how to make it, super easy. And of course, we're going to put all the flavors of the fall and Thanksgiving, ginger, cinnamon, all those things that make Thanksgiving menu so special. So, if you want to switch from pumpkin pie, let's do pumpkin pudding cake. Let's start! First, we're going to beat the butter and the sugar. So here, in a large bowl, Put your butter, and of course, it has to be soft, right? Add the white sugar and the brown sugar. And now, just beat them using an egg beater or a stand mixer if you have one. So you beat them until they become creamy and well mixed. Now, add the egg and continue mixing. Now add the spices and the baking powder. So here I have ground ginger, cinnamon, a baking soda and salt. And I have baking powder. You can also add a little uh, pinch of ground nutmeg or cloves or whatever warm spices you like. Make sure you scrape the sides so that all the ingredients are well mixed. Next great ingredient, we're going to add the pumpkin puree. See, here I have freshly made pumpkin puree, or you can use canned pumpkin puree, whatever you like. I'm using fresh one, so mix it in as well. Sift the flour and add it to the egg mixture. And using a spatula, just fold it into the butter mixture. Finally, we're going to add the milk. So add it little by little. You add a little bit and then mix it in. And then when it's absorbed, add the rest. Our batter is ready. Look how smooth it is. And it smells amazing. The spices, they're already like giving flavors before baking it. So that's it. We put it in a pan and we're going to bake it. To prepare the pan, I have a circular pan here, uh, a little bit of butter. So I put a little butter here in my pan and then put my parchment paper. And the reason I do that is for my parchment paper to stick. Because many people ask me why. And then the rest of the butter, I'll just brush it on top of the parchment paper. And that's it. Now pour the batter on your pan. Smooth it up, give it a little shake, and that's it. Of course, your oven is preheated to 360 Fahrenheit degrees, which is around 180 Celsius degrees, and just put it in the oven to bake it. I bake the cake for around 30 to 35 minutes, and it will depend on your oven. To know it's ready, touch uh, the center of the cake. It should feel firm, not too firm, but like firm, it springs back. If it's too moist, like you could put your finger in it, then you know it needs more baking. But this way, it's good. So let the cake cool down uh, for around 15 to 20 minutes, and then we'll flip it and we'll taste it. Using a knife, gently run it around the edges to make sure that the edges are not stuck to the mold. Okay, they look okay to me. Then put your plate on top and basically flip the cake. And now gently remove the mold. Yay! Perfect cake! Here comes the reason why I use um, parchment paper. Makes it super, super easy. See, my cake is still hot. You can actually see the steam. Look at this. Oh my God, and it smells. I can smell the fall season here, just in this parchment paper. So, I will leave the cake to cool down. It has to be at room temperature before I can cut it and taste it. Now my favorite part. I'm going to cut a piece here. Wow, wow, this cake is so moist. 
So I'm going to take a piece. Check this out. Check how moist this cake is. It's incredibly moist and oh my god, it smells amazing. And the way you serve it is with a little bit of heavy cream that I put in the fridge. See? Like this. Just to go even crazier. Can you see this beauty? Look at this. I'm going to take a piece here. Oh wow. Wow. That's all I can say. Mmm. Oh my god. It melts in your mouth. Look, I don't even have to chew it. It just melts. And that's why it's called pumpkin pudding cake because it's like a pudding. Melting in your mouth, you feel the ginger, the spices, the pumpkin, and it does make a difference if it's home uh, made uh, pumpkin puree. Oh, yeah, I can't stop eating this. I mean, I can finish this in like three seconds. Mmm, so good. That's my cat. <laughs> my cat's been here around because she's smelling it. You see it? Yeah, not, not, not for her, just all for me. I hope you enjoyed this recipe. I hope you'll try it and let me know how it goes. All the ingredients and the written steps are in the about section below the video. And happy Thanksgiving. See you next time. Bon appétit.